Hello again everybody, welcome back to the channel and to some more modded Skyrim. In the last episode we cleared out Dead Man's Respite and got the final word for Whirlwind Sprint, which was really exciting. We also just cleared out, what was it, Rude Cavern, uh, the location, and then we got stuck fighting a dragon over and over again because we kept dying. Today we're going to pick up right where we left off, which was the quick save at the top of the peak. Because... The game unfortunately crashed mid-fight, so let's give it a go, see what happens. Like I said, I'm going to give this a few tries, well, a few, let's say several, and if I don't get it, I'm just going to load up that hard save that I made and go into North Coldwind Pass, Cold Rock Pass, whatever it may be, and see what's in there and just pop out of the other side of the mountain because I don't really want to deal with this dragon if I don't have to. Okay, is Lydia up here? No, Lydia's not here yet. So let's get Lydia here. Let's get this bow drawn and... Okay, I'm gonna pop a potion of furious speed when I get a bit closer. It doesn't matter because I'm just gonna get melted. I need to call Lydia up closer to me. So the dragon likes to land here here the most, so I need Lydia to hang out here for now, and I need the dragon to just aggro to her and completely ignore me. Oh, perfect. Okay, this is actually a really good start. If I can use this time to heal Lydia back up to full. Okay, it's a good, wow, a 14 HP. It's a good thing I saved this level up for when I did. Okay, Lydia's in a good spot, actually. As am I. I could learn the shot mid-fight. Let's see what this is. Learn the weapon disarm. Alright. Oh, for a second I thought the thing decided to retreat. For no reason. It got scared of us for once. Oh, that's not a good spot to be in. Okay, I'm gonna start doing a bit of damage myself. No, I'm not. Okay. Maybe it's about to crash land. I'm gonna get the... Oh, yeah, that was right. I'm actually going to quick save here, because we're in a really good spot. Oh wow, Lydia coming in clutch there, but we did it. And it didn't take that many tries. Well, was that only once or twice? Very very nice, definitely well worth it then. Yeah, once the dragon lands... Ooh, sorry, I did not mean to speed that loud. Uh, but yeah, once the dragon lands, it's not so much of a problem, because I do really good damage. Especially if Lydia is meleeing as well. Yeah, 
You know what, I'm actually gonna harvest some meat from this, from a skeleton. You finish butchering one section of the carcass, it will take more time to butcher the rest. How much did I get though? 18? Okay, I do not need any more. 9 animal fat. Not bad. Oh, I didn't mean to search, I want to cancel. Oh well, I want to dispose of it, but I don't think I have the capability to do that. Alright, we already got the word of power, what do we got in here? Cast on a nearby surface, launches enemies in the direction they are moving. That actually sounds really funny. Well, you know what? This isn't a terrible spot to camp. Let's get the horses. Uh, perfect. Lydia, you can take my dragon scales and this animal fit. Five and three, that's not bad. Not bad at all. Oh, it's the dragon meat. I was wondering what's so heavy, and then I remember we got 18 pieces of it. Each weighing 5. Seems remarkably well preserved. Interesting. Yeah, that'll... that'll do the trick. Nice. Well, let's get our... We're gonna take the fur tent, because we're on top of a mountain. It's probably pretty cold up here. And Lydia has the axe now, right? Or is it still on Winnie? No, Lydia has it. Perfect. I got a lot of things to sell and smelt on her. So I really want to get back to a city as soon as possible, which is probably going to be Whiterun. Lydia, I need you to move. Thank you. And who has, I'm assuming Lydia, she has everything I need, firewood, six, okay. Uh, I feel like one of the horses definitely has ten from before. No, nothing here, where is queen? Nope, never mind. I thought we had some left over, which we technically did, but I thought I had 10 from a previous time, but I guess I already used that ton up. No biggie. We don't have to gather too much, luckily. And I can't wait and get a flawless troll hide and see how much one of those is worth. Okay, uh, I'm gonna get a small camp fire going here. And then I'll chop the rest for a roaring campfire. I don't wanna freeze. Oh, perfect. Mineshaft 1 expansion completed. Uh, what is happening here? That was interesting. Hmm. I've never had that happen. Alright, let me just harvest some wood here. Well, I'm actually short. Wait, 
How does that make sense? I had six and I used four to make. Okay, I have no idea. Unless I'm not doing math correct, but either way, it's not like it matters. I got four. So now I have ten total. And I'll have enough to make a basic campfire next time. Oh, because I was firewood and de not dead wood, that's why. So, I'm just being stupid, misremembering already what kind of wood I was using. Uh, I do actually want to see and... Or, let me let me restart that. I want to see what happens when I cook the dragon meat. What I get, because it's probably going to be something decent. Let me take one of each here. And let's get the cooking pot. So we can make a dragon steak. And we can also make cooked mammoth snout steak. Cool. Hmm. Unfortunately that I can't make this pretty good. Well, let's just do one of each then. Let's make some cooked dragon steak. And some cooked mammoth snout steak. Uh, where... Alright, let's have some mammoth right now. I'm not even thirsty after that, interesting. I see that I have spoiled junk, so I'm just getting rid of that in, in the dragon. And... I might give some food to Lydia, actually, to hold on to. For instance, let's put a few of those away. I can keep these on for now. Let's put the mud crab legs away as well. The turnips. Just anything that can spoil without me realizing it. I want to keep ingredients so I can make some good quality meals soon. No, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm actually going to break. Uh, that cheese wheel down into individual slices. And then I'm gonna store like nine or ten of them. Perfect. Okay, so we are. Blooded, not thirsty, tired. Well, let's go to sleep. We can finally fix our sleep schedule and travel during the day instead of traveling during the night, which is going to be nice. Alright, peckish and thirsty, so let's have some milk. I can have a bit more water, let's have a little more milk. 
And how about some goat cheese? And salmon. Alright, very nice. I'm just gonna pick everything up. And then I'm gonna quick save. And we're gonna go check out a Winstead mine. Okay, I'm gonna put the axe back on Winnie actually. And what else do I want to put away? How about some books? What do I have that weighs? A lot. Okay, not bad. How about alchemy ingredients? Okay, I still have plenty of flowers as well, so no need to worry about that. Okay, 354, not bad. Oh, we can even get that lower. Put all these scrolls away, 348, beautiful. Alright, let's get a quick save and let's head over to Winstead real quick. One final time for a while. Uh, we're just gonna have to go down the way we came up, basically. Uh, I'm gonna run down instead of riding the horses, cause it seems a bit dangerous to ride the horses down this. I don't want to take a wrong turn and somehow end up falling down and killing one of them. Plus there are a lot of uh, snowberries to gather along the way. As well as this troll that I didn't have time to... Uh, ...skin and harvest. Alright, uh, where's Lydia? I have no idea. There's a lot of things out that way. Oops. Yeah, so I'm assuming we either pop out right here, or this is the entrance to the Nordic Ruin. Which very well could be connected to this place, I don't recall, but I'm more interested in going to Winstead first. And seeing what's up there. Because I do want to see what ores we get from stockpiling, and if we get more money. It was what, 500? And I don't know how many days it's been since I've collected it. So I'm not even going to bother, but I'm assuming the money goes up as well. Hello. I've been hunting and fishing in these parts for years. There, what do you have for sale? Take a look. Anything interesting? Not really. All right. Nice talking to you. Oh, did I not store the cooking pot? I did it. Well, it's not like it matters. Because I'm far enough down the mountain where I can just mount up. And not worry anymore. 
I just don't know what happened to Queen. She's somewhere. Oh, she's right there. Perfect. Alright, Lydia. We're gonna go visit the mine one last time, and then we're gonna go back to High Hrothgar. Slowly but surely. Yes, as am I, as I usually am when you say that. Killing that dragon was actually very satisfying again. And it's good to know that even swamp dragons aren't much of a well, I shouldn't say much of a threat. They're they're killable. Who are you? Okay, where are you headed? I probably shouldn't tell everyone who asks. This is important business, you know. Understand them will be on your way. I'm not gonna interfere. Thanks for wasting my time. You're welcome. <laughs> oh. I need my hammer, please, and thank you. Okay, I, I'm gonna go check out what this location is. I think I know what it is, but I don't know why it's undiscovered. I guess I died. On a different time. Oh. That's somewhere in Labyrinthian, so I don't really care about that right now. What I'm also going to do is uh, stop at this uh, little mining camp and see if there's a quest here. Stone Hill. Oh. Oh, come on. Oh, at least they're... Uh, guards here. I did do a head injury, I just literally bashed a skull in. Well, as long as none of the... Uh, workers from the... Stone Hills died. I, I don't really care about these storm cloaks. Alright, let's see. Is there anything here? Because this is a pretty big place, honestly. Alec. Alec. Aluk. Uh. And no, nothing crazy. What about here? Nothing crazy either. Six ebony ingots, though. Uh, I'm gonna hold off, actually. How much money do you have, though? The finest weapons and armor. Oh, not a lot at all. all Alright. Right. It's not worth my time. Guess the Empire is going to need plenty of iron to make all the fighting. That'll be good for us, I suppose. Mm -hmm. You're not the leader. I don't recall who the head he is here. Let's just go into Sorley's house and see if we can find anybody here. Can I help you? Yeah, maybe. Okay, that was the only person in here.
Wow, that was some killer lag. Oh, there you are. Wouldn't ever have expected to wind up living in a place like this. But the money's good. Hector. Do you own the mine? You're out in the middle of nowhere, aren't you? Well, let's ask if he owns the mine. No, and before you ask, it's not for sale. I wasn't. I have my own mine right up from in the little north from here, so I'm all set. But you, I wasn't asking. I'm just protecting Bryling's investment. She's the owner, even though we're the ones here doing all the work. Mm -hmm. She's already come down hard on us for missing shipments. <sighs> Likely to do it again, since we're late. Is there any way I can help? Or can't you reason with her? No, let's see if there's any way I can help. You could take word to her that there'll be a shipment soon. Buy us some time, and keep her off our backs. In exchange, I'm willing to let a few ingots go missing. Maybe more than a few. I'll go see Bryling for you. You're doing me quite a favor. I won't forget it. I'm sure she'll be angry. Brace yourself. Okay, uh, you're out in the middle of nowhere, aren't you? Don't have to tell me twice. But then I'm not the one that buried iron under these mountains. Mm, that's a fair point. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's actually check this out. I have no idea where I need to go for this. I'll have to go into solitude. Hmm. I mean, I'm gonna be not that far from it. Especially if we just cut through the water. But then again, I really don't want to go back there right now. I just want to visit Winstead and make it back to High Hrothgar finally and maybe try to kill another dragon or two but first things first is a Winstead and I'm actually gonna stay on foot here because I want to go clear out these ruins since I got distracted I'm also going to quick save before I forget because I have a feeling I'm somehow going to die in the very near future. And I do not want to have to redo everything again. Ken Stag. Nice job, Lydia. You three shot it. It was a young swamp troll, but still. Finding that ebony helmet of extreme archery, or whichever level of archery was, it was a huge help to her. I'm gonna be very happy when I can put uh, some archery enchantments on my gear as well. On top of the like one hand and another stuff, because I obviously don't want to just prioritize archery. But 80 enchanting is. quite a ways away. And how many perk points do we need to invest? I'll need to get three levels. Uh, which isn't that bad. I only need two perk points technically, but I have a feeling we're going to be taking planner smithing very soon. And we're going to be making some nice dragon armor. Uh, I'm actually going to go buy 
the front gate here. And this may be the... No, I'm going to assume this is the front. your name? Scarball. I am. How does it feel to work for me? It must be pretty cool working for the Dragonborn of Legends. At least I think it would be. Okay, uh, what time is it? 12.23. Nothing. Alright. I actually need to hire workers for Mineshaft 1. It's weird though, I've already hired these people. But can you double up on this? I'm gonna quick save and see what's up. Okay, yeah. So, uh, Mineshaft 1. Uh, yeah, we already have that, so we're going to get another 6 miners and 1 foreman. Oh, am I stupid? I think I am. I, I'm just remembering how this works now, I think. So, the Mineshaft is built. However, we need to put in... Okay, so Ori, Calico, Moonstone, Quicksilver. Cool. So yeah, like all the mid-tier metals like I thought. Yeah, I think what I need to do is upgrade this thing a bit. So... Yeah. Well, I don't want to use money, so we're going to have to start... Yeah. We're going to have to start actually getting material. Now, how do I get out of here normally? This thing is huge. Oh, so where's the minecart? Well, I'm actually sort of curious. Let me get the lantern going here. I don't think I've ever run through the mine shaft as well. This thing is massive. So yeah, we're going to have to get quite a lot of work done in here. Alright, let's see, is this just another? Yep. They're all small rooms right now that have second level connections it looks like, but I don't think we have the means obviously, and once we get the scaffolding I'm probably going to be able to get up there. Okay, so... And this is just the miners quarters probably. Alright, here's the exit. Where does this pop out in Winstead, Maine, though? Because I don't recall. Oh, 
Oh, okay. Nice. I just wanted to see what you were going to say. That's all. Okay. So, we have... Not a lot of this. I think Lydia had some... Things on her. Yeah. Well, that's a little something. Not a lot, though. Okay, that was right here. Twenty five clay, fifteen iron fittings, forty sawn logs. 80 nails. Okay, well, this is going to take a while. I'm trying to think what the best approach is, besides using gold. Because it's, it's expensive. Well, this isn't that expensive. I can take this hit. I guess it always just shows how many you have, regardless, because I have no idea where those are stored right now. Okay, well, I guess we're going to have to do... something, because I really want to get this... And done, but it's getting all this materials insane. Well, I guess for now, I'm gonna start stockpiling resources. Money I can get plenty of by just clearing out locations and all the loot we're gonna get. So, because I'm gonna need insane amounts of iron to make all these nails, locks, hinges, all of this, all of that. It's better for me to start storing the stuff. You couldn't possibly be the dragonborn of legend. Yeah. God's blessings on you. And on you. Okay, it's time to start stockpiling. Winstead ores available. I have no idea where you look for this though. I really don't remember actually. Let me just make sure it's not somewhere in here. Divine smile on you. Okay, it's probably somewhere outside because it makes more sense for it to be out there. And that's all storage. As is all of this. I'm gonna go check inside the mine quickly.
Yeah, that's not in here, and it shouldn't be in here either. But I really don't remember where to find this either. Uh, well, I'm just gonna have to do some research on my own time and see where you collect raw ore. I'm sure it was mentioned somewhere. And I'm assuming it's not this, it's not just a pile like that every single time. Alright, whatever. I'll find it when I find it, and when I do find it, it's just gonna be filled with a whole bunch of ore. So, yeah, it'll be even more exciting. Let's have some dragon. This doesn't count as food, food, I guess. And neither does that, that's what I was expecting. No, it does, why? There we go. It just wasn't showing. I wonder, can I harvest while I'm over here? Because it's a little too early to go. Or forage, not a harvest. It's a little too early. I want to take this time to get some experience and, of course, find something cool. A grime-covered ring. I can make some mild acid actually and clean it. Some cow tracks heading west. Well, that doesn't really do anything for me. Uh, I don't have the Charis Acid on me, I'm pretty sure. Oh no, I do have it. What am I talking about? It's not an alchemy ingredient. It's Venom, not Acid. Uh, I'm gonna have to do this in the morning though, because it's quite, actually, it's gonna take, what, a few hours? Yeah, I can spend this time to do this quickly. Oh, only for a silver ring. Uh, it's not the... The best, not the worst. Actually, I think that is the worst piece of jewelry. It's only valued at what, like... Thirty... Okay, that... Well... We have to do it for the chance to get something actually good. Yeah, why not? Have a little ale to start the morning with our horker. Alright, well, with all of that being done, it is time to head back to High Hrothgar, finally. Let's call the horses and not mount up because we're getting attacked by some more huskies it looks like. Yep.
my god, Lydia is an absolute machine. Well, whatever is in front of me hasn't attracted Lydia yet, and she just jumped over like crazy. That's the last one. Okay. Oh, I was wondering where she went. I really wonder what this enemy is. Well, in this case, it's a pack of bears. Lydia, you're gonna you're gonna aggro something you don't want to and we're gonna regret it. This place is always just an absolute mess. Eight billion different fights going on, and I have no idea why. I do get to get a Hjall March cloak out of that though, so not bad. Oh, can I get on before she gets off? No, but she's getting back on instantly. Um, Let's head east, right to that giant camp. We're gonna clear that out. I don't think I can open this from the outside. It's only accessible from the inside, and I just don't even want to dismount to try. Goblins, of course. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't you dare attack the horse. Oh, come on. Lydia got in the way of that, and I hit her instead. But she only took 196 damage out of that, which an attack that normally crits for like well over 500 so that's actually sort of crazy how much armor she has because of the stuff because of the ebony upgraded and if i sound like i'm rambling i sort of feel like i am i just can't really put out good sentences right now Okay, I'm only back at Winstead. That's not terrible. We may just decide to go a slightly different route then. Avoid going by those border guards. Thanks for shooting me in the leg, Lydia. Though I can't say much, I probably shot her well over one time. Uh, 
I'm still gonna aim to go to that giant camp. We're just gonna go a slightly different route. Okay, so it's probably worth searching huskies. I thought they acted similar. <coughs> Sorry, uh, similarly to wolves, and that's why I wasn't bothering to interact with them, but... Oh, okay, that's revenge, Lydia, sorry. I actually got a little scared there for a second. I thought she was going to start attacking me. I really thought she was going to come at me. She had the axe drawn and she said, do you have a death wish? That's pretty funny. I don't think I've ever had something like that happen before. How did that manage to happen? Well, I'm actually really disappointed in myself for failing that. Yeah, we're gonna go the long way around. Like, the really long way. Oh, I... Didn't think there were gonna be bandits here. Well, I'm gonna drop down. I'm not scared of these guys. Lydia, why don't you come down as well? What? Where are they? How did they... okay. Okay. I don't know how they managed to get up and out of there, but... That was a silver battle axe. I was wondering. It looked, it looked a bit weird to me, and I couldn't make out the type, but... Now I know. Oh, nice. A wolf claymore. Okay, who's up here? What band did we have left? Uh, the chief who's stuck. Oh, that's not a chief. That is a little finger of the mountain. Nice shot by me. Okay, uh, Lydia, let's get these arrows out of us quickly. What kind of bow is that? A Valen Wood War bow. Mm, actually looks really cool. Uh, 
I'm just going to put all of these pieces of jewelry away. Clear just a teeny bit of weight here. Alright, very nice. Let's get a quick save. Some fast healing. And I actually want to check a few things. Halfway to leveling up that. A little more than half. Hunter's discipline require require recover twice as many arrows and bolts from dead bodies. It's not a terrible perk. Can move at full speed with a drawn bow. That's not a terrible perk either. I do want to start branching out into archery just a teeny bit more. Because there's definitely some good perks here. Or trick arrows. Able to upgrade many types of arrows at Forge or Anvil, adding a bonus effect. Force, Immolation, Freezing, Grounding, Maze, or Death based on its material. Wow, that's actually really cool. Not bad either. Hailstorm attack. 8% faster with bows and crossbows for 10 seconds as to shooting a fully drawn. Oh, that's not bad either. Can draw a bow or reload a crossbow 30% faster. Not bad. Snipe shooting a tar shooting targets you haven't shot within the past 10 seconds. Inflict a critical strike that deals 3 times critical damage. And any weapon enchantments applied by that shot by the shot are twice as effective. Yeah, so there's a lot of good perks here. Definitely need to start. Um investing in it as well but then again it also falls on the fact that I don't really have too much archery enchanted gear right now so while the perks are helpful they wouldn't be getting their like maximum use goblins 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 oh wait no these are bandits I guess yeah, the, the log sort of. Skew the, oh, there are goblins too though. Cause, like I was about to say, why aren't, why not? There are always goblins. Where did I get shot from? An Argonian skull, interesting. And yeah, the bandits probably got done in pretty quickly by these giants. If I had to take a guess. Now, hopefully I can just stand by their fire without aggroing them. It would be nice. I'm just trying to warm up. I'm gonna go with no weapon drawn. Please don't mind me. I'm not here to cause any trouble. I'm just here to warm up quickly. Wow, this... Wow. That was a bit sad. I'm 
got a Daedra heart out of that, so totally worth it. We could have avoided that death, but I am sort of happy he decided to attack. Completely warm up here, and we will be on our way. If you even think about attacking Queen, I will annihilate you. Oh, I've had the lantern on this entire time, I think. I did not mean to have it on. Alright, well, what do we got up here? Hall of the Vigilant Discovered. Yeah, so... I don't remember if it was just a random Vigilant that we came across, or the one... in... Markarth. Who had mentioned this? But yeah, this is their base. This is completely destroyed, though, courtesy of some vampires. I'm just going to quickly go through it and grab all of the nice pieces of loot, though. I, mean, I don't have to feel bad about this since they see me as a threat because, you know, I only colluded with a few Daedric Princes. It's not the worst thing. A vault of the Vigilance. An Adept Lock. Should be easy peasy. Oh, we got a Dragon of Fate. That's my first one ever. Look at that. So what, it's a skill point in 15,000 gold if I remember correctly? Hmm. Oh, that feels so good. I was not expecting to find one of those there, but... I wonder if... This is how every thing is going to look, because the perk mentions the name of the container changes to indicate the treasure inside, but uh, I don't think this name changed at all. I'm going to get a lockpicking mastery. I have one spare, well, two, two spare perk points, but I'm going to say one because I'm going to be using this one instantly and still holding on to the other. Since we basically did just get a spare free perk point. And I'm just going to get this because all locks are easier to pick. is going to be super worth it. And I don't really care for any of these other things right now. Well, I'm really happy I decided to come up here, because I don't know if the law or the chests are predetermined once you get the perk, uh, where those dragons of fate are, or if it's random and like when you 
go somewhere or like load into an area there's a chance for one of them to be there either way I'm very happy about that I'm gonna make a quick little pit stop and we're gonna clear out this fort Keep messing up the order. A bandit steel shot rookie. Oh, come on. Ooh. I just took that straight to the head and it bounced off. No, I don't think it matters because I'm just going to heal up to full quickly. does Lydia actually have? 200 yet. Yeah. I thought they were supposed to have infinite arrows, but I wonder if that's only the case for certain arrow types. No, oh, there's actually so much stuff here. For a rookie, you really had a lot of loot on you. And a lot of good loot at that. Well, hopefully we're going to get inside the fort and warm up real quick in a second. Four out of five arrows recovered. Well, wow. we got absolutely pelted apparently. Why do I have this? Where did I even get that? Alright, well, we definitely don't need a cast iron pot. And I think I need to run around in order to get in. Here we are, very nice. Well, let's go into here to start. The Stumbling Saber Cat. Sounds like an inn. Is someone there? What was that? Oh, down below.
Oh. Barrel said do. Well, may you rest in peace, guy. I say that as I'm just looting his in clean. Alright, what do we got here? Not bad. And we're gonna burn these guys. Necklace of haggling, not bad. I can probably stack that with the amulet of Xanthar as well. And the Debella amulet too, and this is going to be a lot of a. Uh, right now, so it's 25 between that amulet of haggling and the Xanthar. On top of the difference by the 15 points of speech. And it's going to be nice actually. I'm going to be able to sell for a lot more and buy for a lot less. Okay, that's not even worth it. Let's just head in from this trapdoor. Into Fort Dunstand. And this is probably going to be the last thing I do for this episode. Let's get... Abandoned Gorehound Cutter. Ooh. Lydia, where are you? You know, I can actually just do this, and just infinitely heal her, and give her a bunch of stamina, and she'll never run out. An Agent Spook, I think that's the first one we've come across of that. Nord, a full set of Nordic Wanderer stuff. I'll gladly take all this. Hang on. Before you go... Oh, she's not even gonna chase. Nice. Uh, okay, these aren't aggressive, so I'm just gonna leave them alone. I don't even need to move the lockpick anymore on like probably like anything below adept, maybe even four adept. Okay, is this the bandit chief that's aggroed? Because I really want to get this music to stop playing. What's the hurry is this music is really loud. Oh, they got a little skeever fighting pit. That's a bit messed up. But I wouldn't expect anything less from bandits. Is that everything to this portion? Yeah, okay. We're just gonna run across into the kitchen, actually. The 
I'm actually going to take the bread. We won't take the skeever meat because we don't really need anything else like that. We have plenty. And let's head out back in the Skyrim and go across to what I'm assuming is the prism. Is this clean water though? Spring water. Should be fine. Okay, uh, band the chief in here. Cause I really want to kill one. Get a little bit of money and some decent loot. Also, what is my quest right now? Oh, yeah, we can untick this for sure. Okay, it's right in front of me, but I see a chest here, and I'm much more interested in that. Wow, I can't believe the lockpick broke. Oh, there's the man, the chief. Uh, did I have an arrow in me? That's a bit annoying. I didn't realize that I had bleed going on. Sword enchanted power attack. That's a lot of damage. That's how it's done. Oh, there's actually a lot of stuff up here. Nothing incredible, though. Nice aim. Oh, um, yeah. There was a split second where I had a chance to live, but the swing got to me before because I think you would have swapped to Lydia. Oh god. This, sh this shouldn't be as difficult as it is. This really shouldn't be this difficult. Dagger and a bunch of Varfandel. Bavard and Fell. Not Var uh, whatever I just said. No, that's what puts us over. Okay. Well, 
Let's put this away and this armor. Cool. I need to open this again. And we'll run up and see if there's anything of value up there. And I'm probably just going to end the episode in... Actually, yeah, in here, because why not? I can't imagine there's going to be much else up here. Maybe just a big chest somewhere. No, just a torture room. Well, we can check uh, top of the tower here. Maybe they stashed it outside for whatever reason. Oh, yeah, they did. Nice. N nothing good though. Nothing good at all, but it's still something. Like, well, time to wrap things up then. So, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. This was actually a very good, successful episode, I would say. And I'm really happy with one finding the the game the game of fate the dragon of fate and two killing the dragon so and next time we're gonna go here because there's a bounty we can complete we're not gonna turn it in because i don't want to head back to dawn star but we're just gonna get it out of the way we're gonna go back to Whiterun finally. We're gonna try and make some dragon armor, I think. But we're gonna go to Whiterun the long way, actually. I know there's another dragon up here because we tried to kill that dragon before and it didn't work. So we're gonna actually circle back around. We're also gonna clear Valfheim again because we need to get a quest item there. But let's get to the next episode and actually see what happens. So, I hope you have a wonderful morning, afternoon, night, wherever you are, and I will see you all in the next episode. Until then, take care and goodbye.